Welcome back to another draw with me video. I hope you guys like these. Just put me on in the background. Listen to me yap. I'm just going to be talking about, oh, dude, how much I hate and love art trends. I don't really love them. It's like, you kind of have to do them, but I don't like, uh, I hate going on Instagram and just seeing a bunch of like new art trends and then everybody's, everybody's doing them. So then I feel like, damn it, if I do them, I'll get the views. Do I even want the views? I really don't care about the views, but if I get the views, that's more eyes on my work. Then maybe one day George Lucas will be knocking on my DMs and be like, hey, you want to work for Star Wars or Dave Filoni? Oh my God, if Dave Filoni DM'd me ever or reached out somehow, I'd probably cry. Damn, just thinking about it. Anyways, this video is going to be about art trends. Um, I've been in love with traditional art lately. I've been doing a lot of color pencils, pastels, squash, markers. So in this video, I'm going to be drawing some Ninja Turtles, prepping for the new show. I'm hyped for the new cartoon, and I love the movie. Uh, but we're doing some Ninja Turtles on a little canvas panel using color pencils, markers, paint markers. We're mixed media out over here. I just want to thank you guys all for the past couple weeks i've been consistently uploading every monday and i appreciate you guys commenting liking and uh, it's all new to me and i love it like it's been it's been like a couple it's been like a good month or two now we've been consistently uploading and you guys are just like showing out showing me the love motivating me to keep going i appreciate it so much i can't even explain to you how many of you guys are like posting and commenting and telling me to keep going? I know my, uh, I know the video a couple weeks ago where I said I was kind of like gonna quit doing what I'm doing. I'm not really gonna quit doing what I'm doing. I'm gonna keep making the art I love to make, but I'm just gonna re I'm rethinking from a salesman point of view for conventions. Okay, so Instagram, all that's gonna be the same. I'm still posting my art. Uh, I hope you guys like my art. This drawing I just finished, the Ninja Turtles one, I love it. Color pencils. I feel like colored pencils did something to me and I love them. They just unlock something in my brain and I love the way the colored pencils look. I'm like slouching. Sorry, anyways, uh, let's watch the video um, and let's, let's yap about art trends. Here we go. Let's talk a little bit about art trends. I know you know what an art trend is. I know you like the art trends. I know you're a casual art trend watcher. I can't be the only one who hates those art trends, right? I mean, I hate them. I mean, I don't hate them all. Some of them are like creative and good and, and I'll actually like and comment on them. But then there's some other ones. Man, them, them mop paint bucket trends. Oh man. Or that person who just throws like a paint covered sock at a canvas and sells it for like $10 million. Oh, those trends. Oh, I hate those. I just feel like all these trends kind of kill my creativity. I don't know why. I'll just see someone put in like a low effort post. Like me. I mean, like their art, they probably put a lot of time in their art, but they'll just be like holding a canvas with like a stick figure and it'll get like a million likes. And then I'll make a video that takes me a long time to create and it gets like 10 likes. And my mom and dad won't even comment on it because they say I'm a disgrace. Damn. Sometimes I'll just see these like low effort videos blow up and it'll make me not even like want to create anything anymore but i love this too much so i can't stop i feel like the target audience for these trends are like moms and dads and grandpas because i feel like that's who sends me these all the time like my mom will send me like a video of someone painting vegeta with spaghetti or something like that and don't even get me started on the air oh my god my dad will send me like instagram reels of sonic the hedgehog going on a journey or a quest or a forest but like with that medieval music he has another music i'm talking about <laughs> like suspenseful D&D &D, like music and I was like what the heck is Sonic doing wearing a robe and he has like chainmail armor on and, and his fingers are all morphed together because the AI can't draw hands just like I hand draw hands anyway anyways art trends besides them catering to grandmas and grandpas I feel like a lot of these trends are for people who just want like a quick follower account because I've done it before followed like a trend I did like a trendy thing and I gained like a lot of followers so I think I gained like a couple thousand from doing this trend but I think it's just for people who want that viral video they want the satisfaction of having a viral video at least that's what I think but it sucks because I want that viral video too but I want to get it by making something that I love not following a stinky little art trend using some like goofy popular TikTok sound talking about pizza or something like that 
I don't know, I'm old. But yeah, I'm guilty of uh, trying out some trends. Uh, in my earlier TikTok days, I saw there was a lot of trends that would pop off and I'll be like, man, how would I incorporate art into these? And I would try to do these trends, nothing would happen or I just look stupid. But I'm like, I'm kind of glad that nothing happened with that though, because I feel like I would have burnt out so fast. I feel like you just can't keep up with the trends and then also do what you love because you'll, you'll just get tired of it. It gets boring. I follow some creators on TikTok and they do the same thing that I followed them for two years ago. And I don't know how they do it i would get so bored like like the dudes who upload youtube videos where they've been playing minecraft for like 10 years but are doing like the same thing building a house and i was like i can't man i couldn't i would get so bored i don't know how i do it probably making like hella money to where they just can keep going and going and going and they're like damn my bank account's fat let me make another one of these same exact videos i made yesterday with a different audio i don't know i couldn't do it that's that's just me though i don't know if you could do it i mean i did it for a while and it sucked and i hated it so now i'm doing what i want and it's going good but the views suck but it's fine i'm all right i love i love it i love creating i'm creating what i want you gotta keep that in my mind i'm creating what i want i like pokemon you like pokemon i'm probably just mad because i can't make a low effort viral hit sensation video I just don't have it in me. I tried, I can't do it, and I don't know why. It's just, it's not in my genes, I guess. I have to put a lot of effort in something for a low return, I guess. Just, it's just me. I just me. All of my shorts and my reels and stuff like that, they take a minimum of like two hours because I'm sitting there drawing whatever character at the moment that I'm working on. Like like right now I'm doing the Pokemon, so some people say, hey, draw, draw Batman, but wearing like a Blastoise onesie, okay? Let's do it. it takes me about like two hours to sit there, I'll draw it, I'll sketch it, I'll color it, and then I edit the video, I do the voiceover, and then I upload like a 10 second video to all my social medias and sometimes they pop off sometimes i don't tiktok for some reason isn't loving it youtube i don't know how it works but sometimes i'll get a little bit of love on the shorts over there but instagram that's where it's at but i don't know what it is i might just be a hater because i can't make a cool viral video i guess that's just by just me but one of these days i'll get to draw a stick figure and it'll get like a billion trillion likes and then i'll make merch of it it'll give me like a billion trillion dollars and then, and then it'll be like a fortnite skin and then lego will buy the rights and then then george lucas will become knocking at my dms and be like, hey can we make a star wars movie out of your character and i'm like dang full circle huh yeah that's pretty much my uh thoughts on uh our transfer before before i go don't let me forget to talk about those uh, those asmr scratchy pen on canvas papers inky uh, drawing videos i don't know why those bother me so much but it reminds me of like the mukbang videos i don't i don't understand why people like them because I'll, I'll sit there and i'll try to watch one because the artists they're good artists but then i'll hear like the scratchy and i'm just like give me get me out of here but yeah those videos and then the mop art where people paint with mops that grosses me out and i don't understand why the grandmas and grandpas of the world love that so much but please let's make the real art let's make the real artist go viral this year please um the process videos the uh how to's the uh the informative videos the videos that help people become a better artist let's make those let's make those go viral please i'm liking them i'm saving them i engage with those videos i save them i even put them in my little group chat we have on instagram for inspiration just so those can like boost in the algorithm or whatever but uh but uh, yeah, that's all I really had to say about the art trends. I probably sound like a hater, but I told you guys before I'm using these videos as like a journal or a diary where I'm just like spewing out my thoughts. So everything I'm saying here, I wrote this all down already in a, my little journal and I'm just like talking about it because there's people out there. I don't know. You might you might be thinking the same thing I'm thinking, but you're not really trying to talk about it or you want to know if somebody else is thinking it. Well, I'm thinking it. So if you guys are thinking it too, can you please comment below and tell me your thoughts on art trends? Do you do art trends? And if you do, which ones do you like? Which ones do you do? I, I, there's some I like. I don't hate them all. There's some I do like. Mop bucket art. I'm just kidding. Don't if you if you ever see me doing mop bucket art or something like that, please block me on every social media. Don't. I don't deserve followers. I'm just kidding. People who do mop bucket art, they deserve followers. <laughs> Somebody has to keep the grandmas and grandpas entertained out there. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, uh, listening to me. I hope you guys like this Ninja Turtle drawing I did. Also, I want to talk a little bit about uh, sponsors and stuff like that. I got a lot of people emailing me now for some reason, wanting me to use their product. So I don't want to bombard you guys with reviews, but I have another review next week. It's for some tablet. Uh, it's cool. I'm going to give it to one of my kids. 
to use, but uh, I'm gonna use it first. It's mine, but uh, I'm gonna give it to one of them to use because they love to draw too. Anyways, I hope you guys understand. Um, these are not sponsored videos or anything like that. They're just I love these products. Well, these ones, are, these markers are amazing. But people seem to love my content. They want me to talk about it. But I'm giving my honest opinions on things. So if you come back and you see me do this review of this tablet, and I'm lying on my teeth like, damn, this thing is an iPad killer. Unfollow me, unsubscribe, all that, block me, and everything, because I'm lying. But I ain't gonna do that though. I'm telling the truth. Unless they pay me like a couple million. And I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not a sellout. <laughs> or maybe. If the price is I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Anyways, thank you for watching. Shout out to all my Patreons. My super duper cool scooper de duper. Patreon for this month will be. Patreon of the week will be Ian. Yo, th yo, Ian, thank you for being here. I'm not sure how many months you've been here, but it's been a long time. You got a lot of stickers. Thank you. And if you guys are not part of the sticker club, please consider joining. Last month was Star Wars month. This month, I'm going to do a Pokemon sticker. I haven't talked to the Patreons about it, but we're doing a Pokemon sticker. I don't know what Pokemon I want to do, but we're doing it. Anyways, if you guys have any thoughts, please comment interact and mingle in the comments let's talk about art stuff okay thank you for being here thank you for watching uh smooches and all that stuff and um don't do drugs stay in school obey the law okay all right peace out bye have a good one